Welcome to episode 10 of the Sweet Natured Cruisecast. Hi, I'm Linz, a Zoza and Jamba Marky. Hello. Hello. And today we're talking about when your cruise is not as you expected. But first, a little mood music. What did you think of today's musical intro? I mean, it is 30 degrees outside. What is that in old money? I don't know. I think about 70 odd. Wow! <laughs> Your conversion of Celsius to Fahrenheit is fantastic. You doubled it and I'm 30, so that's about 70 odd. I'm not sure people will correct you in the comments. But... They will. And that's what we love about the internet, that you can always be corrected in the comments. <laughs> is that better than me correcting you here now? I mean... I, I take joy when I'm right. I don't think you about this time. Yeah. Okay, please leave us your thoughts in the comments on what 30 degrees Celsius is pull into. In Fahrenheit. In Fahrenheit. In Oregon, okay. thank you. So, today's topic... Mm -hmm. It's not temperatures. It's nothing to do with temperatures. I'll be eating it. Temperatures on that day. Temperatures coming to this as well. Um, is when you cruise is not what you're expected. Yes. And this is your topic of suggestion. It, it, it is. Because of a recent cruise. Okay. Uh, we'll come on to that on track. So, just want to clarify. Mm -hmm. Is it your topic of conversation? Not, yes. not mine, so I need no. to check with you. Yeah. Can this be whether it can be good, not what you expected, or bad, what you know, expected? We're not just talking bad. Oh, no, it can be good and bad. Okay. Good and bad. Oh, good then. and bad. How do you want to start this off, then? Well, we just recently returned from Alaska. I'm an Alaskan crew. Yeah, the police, you got the terrible mood on this. And when we booked it, um, I was not emotionally prepared for what I had to endure. I'm not emotionally prepared. No, how could you even get that out then? No, because it was just, it was a book at this cruise. It was, yeah. But I didn't realise I'd want to throw myself into the water as part of the, like, it, it was just, it was, it was very emotional. I mean, just to be clear, we're not recommending you throw yourself in the water in the water. The water was cold. Was that because of the colour of the water, the animals in the water? We weren't talking about this it, before. This is why we do it like this. It was very emotional. You've already said that. I, think, yeah. I feel you need to clarify that more. It, I didn't expect it to be as a more clarified. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just keep it spinning the word emotional. No, I mean, the sunsets, the sun rays of the blue body. This isn't like it's your first cruise. No. But oh, what I thought, I went, meh, why so Meh, whales. I wish for the West Island teacher and everything that talks all of that. But I thought... Going so mad, whales on a swing finish. <laughs> what I thought the cruise would be like, I didn't realise it would have, I would be so emotionally barriered on the cruise. Okay. And people need to know this. People need to know that they're going to need tissues. Watch it. I mean, hey, that morning I got up at. 3.30. No, it was 2.15, because you, you then, I then walked up at you, I stood over the box, and you staring out at 3.15, going, are you okay now? Look at this! It was fire in the sky, the mountains, it's now well, actually a screenshot on my phone. I mean, it's on mine as well. Yeah, but it's from the back of my head, and I'm correct. <laughs> my phone, my phone. No, you've got it. I'm glad I've been. No, mine. You want my phone. Beautiful. It, Beautiful. And I stood on that balcony. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat what I thought. <laughs> it's like, wow. A swearing version of wow. So, on this particular one, what we're talking about there is more of the destination. I mean, as opposed to the cruise itself. So, it wasn't anything to do with the ship. You could have been on any ship and you'd have felt the same. But it was still a cruise. No, no, but it was nothing to do with the ship. You could have been on... The box of the ship. You could have been on Holland America, Princess, Tuna, Billy Phoenix. You know, still on that same... I don't need Billy Bones on set. Well, let's just assume that you got through it on. It was... Honestly, it was stunning. 
It was stunning. Hey, it's not my hand is doing sunset so it's safe with that. No, but it went to a little tears. I may have been dark with it. Oh, it was really it's intense. I don't think so. It was all very odd. Okay. Well, let's move on from the emotional. So, you need to prepare yourself. If you're going to Alaska, it's not meh, my I've got it. I've got it. Nothing. They were met whales. When the whales came up right on the side of us, oh, we were, we were stood on the back and we looked over. I didn't even have a bra on. <laughs> what was that? I don't think that put the whales off. <laughs> Maybe I thought I could never trip them. I was, I was, I was sat eating cheesy chip, drinking a 24 karat margarita. Quickly, I like to do it two o'clock in the afternoon with no bra on and on my balcony. And they came up right at the They literally came up Oh, my okay. God. Again, tears. No, that's that, that bit I can pull it out. Okay, look. Get the sunset? No, I mean, I get the sunset. It's like I've taken some beautiful sunset pictures over the years, and that one's on my phone as well. I was basically but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for anyone who didn't hear what I said, I watched the video last <laughs> time. Uh, you, you better see her mind it. Um, okay, well, let, let's start from a little bit then. I'll just, because we're not just talking about how high was my rate. Yeah, particular. I mean, well, for me, we, we kind of touched on these in other ones as well, and it's not what you're expecting. But for me, it was the first time I went on Juno. Oh, yeah. Because you. Oh, yes, you brought it back down to earth. Thank you. Back to the normal in Russia level. Yeah, um, you've been trying to get to Juno for years. She really liked that dressing up. I loved it. And it's not that I feel like I'm up. I, I enjoy you look on the going on a lot of date night type thing. And yeah, but you don't really like, like a suit and like things. Got a tag. No. I mean, we, you look a bit of a dick if you did. I mean. Fair enough. Um, you know, going back to my point. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you you're making me all emotional. What we're drinking. We're drinking vodka and orange with a splash of grenadine just to change the colour of its life. And so it's now looking your blood on the jet. Oh, it's good. Um, when we went on Kudos for the first time, I very much had that expectation that we going to be overly stuffy. Yes, he did. And I have to admit, it's the first time that we've been going to a cruise terminal, and I've not been that excited about going on the cruise. Really? Yeah. I felt more trepidatious about it. Okay, we got some information for you. It was on the toilet, though, really. Um, but it was. Because I've I really, I've seen so many pictures and so many videos over the years, and some people said it's not as stuff as that, and I've seen others who said, no, it's really all that. Can I just, can I just interject? Can you please turn that, that light towards the wall? Because... Are you going to make a difference? It, no, because I'm like, I'm dazzled in my, in my glasses. Okay. I just finished work and I just got home. Yeah. Thank you. Is that better? Yes. Back, back to QNAD. Back to QNAD. Sorry, back to QNAD. Um, so, yeah, when we got on, and when you get on, mm-hmm. actually, my opinion on it has changed massively. I know. I feel over the, the sort of couple of cruises we've had with them now. Yeah. But when you get on, you've got them in their very traditional uniform as you get on. Yes. With the white gloves. In red. In red. And there are other cruise lines that do big welcomes. This way, for instance, where you're allowed to answer Juliet, or at least certainly used to be. A lot of food. Well, that makes the big old skewer for It's like a lace. There's lunches upstairs to you back into the class. Oh, man. Uh, and as I approached it, I'm like, oh, all my fears are going to become true. Yeah. The, this is just me. And then we'd been on the ship around probably 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And my. Uh, Opinion one eight two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I quickly saw other people on there. Yes. So listen, you're not saying that's many when you're not. But you hide humans. Yeah. I, I mean, they don't like human people. Okay. I don't know what other sort of people you thought I would be. And we get because you only walk in the end of few when you're getting on. Yeah. And you know, it's is it the demographic that I expect it how the dress? You walk in for ten minutes, you say, right, there's always demographics. Everyone's dressed. No. There was a person with a briefcase. Though. So when you walk home with a briefcase and... A three-piece suit. Three-piece suit. And all that. Oh, yeah. my good grief. Yeah, but not. I am. No. But <laughs> I, I don't I still don't know why that was what... But We've seen people what, get on in a cape, though. Whatever is your fancy, what you want to get on with. Yeah. 
You do you. Yeah, you do you. Um, but the service on there were fantastic. The food was fantastic. And I really absolutely loved it. Yeah. Uh, you know, we followed up Queen Elizabeth with Queen Mary 2. I had a little bit of concerns about that, but a lot less so. Mm-hmm. And within seconds of being on board, I'm like, no, it's dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, there's a huge sign completely uh-huh. different as well. Mm-hmm. And think it back to you then. Okay. What's your next thing about when you cruise the what you expected? Well, I was very stupid. No. Oh, ding dong ding. It's definitely got the gun. I think that might be my, my answer. Are, are you leaving me? To talk. Oh, I'll just be quiet. I think it's my Amazon chili fan. So we've moved. As you can see, this is the lounge. It's not all set up yet. It's um okay now. And oh with the mean again, it's gone. Um and got lovely fitted wardrobes, but I need some little baskets. Similar deal to what P and do actually. Um, to put in the wardrobe to put some small things in. So that's what I'm having to do right now. Hopefully that's what it is. Unless Marsha found it something else. I won't be surprised. You know, there's a lot of stuff. I'm very yeah. happy, don't you? Let's see. Let's see what it is. But sounds like it could be my baskets. The least you the both said. Yeah, I feel that you can keep that here. That's absolute gold. <laughs> it's class. <laughs> well, I've no idea what you said because I want me. Well, just tell me what the house is. Okay, power plug to the Amazon stuff to do with that. So, tell so, me what were you saying just before we got the dollar? No idea. <laughs> this is why we shouldn't do it after work. I was something about something about QNA. I posted Q Oh, yeah. it was me. We got to me. It was all about me. <laughs> oh, I don't see was. I don't see was. I kidded myself when we went to the Norwegian Fjords in August that I, the weather, it would be fabulous. And I'd need all the shorts and, the, and it wouldn't be foggy. I don't know why I kidded myself. We had the long arms at Fjords, we, we did have foggy days, but we also had beautiful ones where we were in the sun. It was foggy. No, the more than one. Keddy tunings. That's a picture. No, I have a No, I have a But yeah, again, it wasn't as I expected, because what happens is it doesn't matter how many YouTube videos you watch and how many podcasts you listen to. It's, your cruise is always very personal to you. Yeah. So what we try and do is when we had a cruise, is say, this thing happened to us, it could happen to anybody, this is how you avoid it. Yeah. I can't do it, knock all about the weather. <laughs> no, but you can warn people. I mean, you mean, the first one that we touched on today was Alaska. Who would? Uh, Alaska being a rainforest, it rains a lot. But the reality on our, we only had one part where it rained. No, there were two pops. No, it was one part where we went, do you know? Do you know, and... Mm-hmm. Do you know? I'm <laughs> just doing that. Um, Maybe this not the Skagway and just kind of... The Skagway we ended up getting sunburn. No, it wasn't Skagway. It was Glacier, Blooming Avenue, whatever it's called. But, In the... Oh, yeah. So anyway, only read what... Going back to what you were saying on that. Mm-hmm. You... I don't think it wasn't the one prepared to be toast. We went with various layers, the Fox Farm before we did a pop, we did a packing video of how, how we'd layered up. But I used to add it in your head. Yeah. That it wouldn't, because of the time you had it, it oh, it's hawkers, that it wouldn't be as foggy or wet as it was at other times. Mm-hmm. But one each of the ports we went to on the old fjords, it did mm-hmm. rain. Yeah. We had a bit of fog when we went up the sky lift at Holden, but that mm-hmm. cleared as we came back down. Yeah. But uh, Stavanger, and um, everyone else went there. <laughs> Not fun. Um, we're, we're not fun. Fun. So, one day, one day I'll get to fly. You'll get there eventually. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm, I get the sort of the weather can be raised, but, but for me, that didn't, didn't really affect it that much. Mm-hmm. I don't be your point, so it's like. And another one uh, where it's not what you expected. Yeah. Um, and it's not that this one wasn't what I expected, it was. 
my opinion on that. You'll see in a second. Okay. So, Virgin Voyages. Oh, yes. When we went on Virgin, we obviously watched a lot of YouTube videos from when um, Virgin did their press cruises before the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. And then there were, there's obviously a period of time where there were no cruises. So there were no proper passenger cruises, more yeah. like the media ones yes. that happened just immediately before the uh-huh. it shut. So we'd seen other people, we'd seen their comments on it. We knew that we wanted to try it. Yeah. But we had this expectation because of how they'd marketed it at that time. We were going to be too old. That we would definitely be one of the oldest on board. Mm-hmm. They would be a, like a nightclub or a, a beach party to be. Perhaps a bit was very obese. But the, we, we just wouldn't like the 1830 value of a beast, not the yes. fancy, you know, Calvin Harris concert in a beast or something. I think you're trying to go in Nicky Beach. But it was the Oh, the one yeah. where they filmed. They must have known where Calvin Harris film. Because I watched a video and now you are a Calvin Harris expert. <laughs> no, it was the one that came to mind because you shouldn't have been It wasn't, it was in Miami. <laughs> oh, okay. But he might have done it. In that kind of beach club, though. Yeah. So, anyway, back to that. So, my expectation was that we knew kind of well shit, but like, so we watched all the videos, we heard about the food. But it was uh, food? to a degree. I don't, I think the food was a surprise. Um, the food was I'll, not as it was we expected. Well, the food is amazing. Um, but it was the underground that wasn't the crowd. No. We were just right for the time of the garden. We were only a month off going on, two months off going on our fourth virgin cruise. Love fetch. Um, and each time it's been kind of the same demographic. It's been the same vibe. Oh, and none of that was what I was expecting, but in a brilliant way. Yeah. Because we absolutely yeah. loved going on those cruises because you know, the, the staff really get to be themselves a lot more, I feel, mm-hmm. than some of the cruise lines. Yeah. Where they're trained to be in the same way, whereas I feel that they get to explain so the effort comes out mm-hmm. to you when you went in there. Well, I mean, we touched on Virgin with food there. Yeah. But have you got a food or a service one where it wasn't what you expected on a cruise ship. Yes, I do. Well, that's a bit. We should have never talked about that. No. And I didn't realise Yacht Club would be as fabulous as it was. I thought it would just be like a nice, nice kind of uplift, but not. I liked Yacht Club a lot more than I expected to like. Clay is one of the fans who love your club a lot more than you expect to like your club. I even like the lift and I'm a nice man. You even like the butler and 10 minutes before you we got on we were recording the set, you said, what we're meant to do with the butler. I didn't use and abuse him, but... No, I'm not suggesting you did. But you got very used to having that sort of chauffeured escort that we got around the shit. I want to put that down to a past life. From <laughs> when you were in your sort of cricket and fountain type era? No, when I was, when I was like Queen of the Year. I ran your Queen of the Year, yes. I feel this has hit hard to do with this content, <laughs> given my delusions. Well, yeah, I, I'm with you on that. See, the. What people think of MSC, it's not the most highly rated generally speaking no, no. cruise line. No, I mean, what's it? What Jim Bray's at the minute is, I know his, his cruise line, and he's having a nightmare. Yeah, that that's not a particularly good example of MSC. But he's not in your club. No, and I think that when you sort of get that sort of shift into it, and Jamie recently, you sort of got, him, yes. got a, a chance to go in there yeah. as well. And, uh, again, so how fantastic what even Ben and David we're loving it and we're loving it all the time. Uh, but I'm sure we will see all the stuff with them at York Club soon, yeah. Um, but it, it's just one of those experiences where it just surpassed every expectation. Oh my god, can we talk about that lemon meringue pie that just appeared in them? What do you want to talk about? So there was this magical lemon meringue pie that just appeared in the room. And we 
I I was getting my day man in my getting my cupboards. I knew what I Thank you to get ready cupboard. I like sound like Harry Potter. Oh thing. And the walking woman to the ride about walking on the tables. I get you ready cupboard. I was getting ready in the getting ready cupboards. I am Simpson getting ready for But I'm not at the door. I was not the getting ready for that's all no. we I don't remember it enough, I just remember the lemon work. No, not evening, I was getting ready for the evening. Oh, yeah, but I don't remember for what. And then, as part of your club, you get little treats left in the room. Yeah. And on this particular day, we had a lemon meringue pie left that just magically appeared. But I think it was our butler. And I'm terrible with, with names of remember ones, but he was he did such a nice job. But I'm a fish prender. I don't feel like that at all. Yeah. Uh, we was to say he's general knock on the door. I know he's like, an answer. You were in the shower. Yeah, so he came and just left it. And it was there, and it was warm. Well, I was in the downstairs shop, because this was the two four June place. So Look, it's a little advanced. So you were upstairs in, in the cupboard. <laughs> I was downstairs in the shower, and I walked out, and I'm like, when's we've had a delivery? We came down, and I, I, I think I could, I think you will agree. We hoovered up that lemon around. Well, we'll have the pal. They weren't massive, right? Well, they about six inches across, six, eight inches across. Well, let's go there, that's my new land. I can't. I can't. I Either way. It was quite a hefty lemon for bread and pie. Um, it, but we were like, oh, we'll just have a slice of it. So we cut it in half, didn't we? And then in half again. So, yeah, so it's a decent chunk, but not like, I think half like eight inches. All right. Okay, Mrs. Maths. Oh, because I'm famous, my ass. 30 degrees, so he's 70. Um, or not. Um, but yeah, we had this sort of first slice, mm -hmm. and we just literally, I mean, you described it as Googling it up earlier. That's and possibly the best, like, use of that term. We put it near his mouth and just went, I don't think we need the noise. Oh, I think the noise was needed for them. I could not move. I could move, but that on top of the don't do that again. Then what do that yet? Don't do it. It's a ruining ruining experience. It is ruining my ruining experience. It's ruining my whole experience. <laughs> so, you would do that one. The best place. In conclusion, yes. Again, it was unexpected. I didn't realise I'd be so much into my... All butlers. All butlers. All butlers who deliver my... Well, I mean, that's the perfect one. I, I feel that Dan Snadu was missing. Oh, that was a pizza. Oh, and then when he brought us pizzas, when we ordered pizzas, and he brought us pizzas, and they were fresh and Oh, yeah. And I mean, if you if you order a pizza at the buffet, and then we see it's pretty good. Yeah, it is. It tastes even better when you order it, and then your butler delivers it. In a box. In a box. And then you sit... In a hot tub cooking pizza. No, I don't know if we didn't sit in the hot tub and eat the pizza. We ate the pizza. Well, there we go. Is that? We we. But never. Ah, I think you're remembering something from there all year. We were not on the edge of a pizza hot hot tub. We had the hot tub inside, and uh, I love this sort of banter that it's because I found it, and it's on one of the videos. Either way, I've I've found it all together now, and yeah. that person. So yeah, it already fucked on the way on the hot. That sounds great. But yeah. MRC Yacht Club, I mean, honestly, did you know, if you want it. Man, and if you never say that, do go back and watch it. Because we, we know a lot of people have tried MSC Yacht Club. And they've got a price on now. It seems to have settled again a little bit. Okay, but look at the theories, right? It wasn't quite as, okay. as high here. But yeah, that, that's a big play one for that. Okay. What about destinations? So we've touched on last from the fjords. I was saying we've done destinations. I guess. I guess. I even talk about something else with you. Yeah, we're going to have a new destination. Oh, well, it's your topic. I guess when you go into a lot of European parts, you imagine that you'll tend to be like San Gimini, or that you're holding to this pretty, pretty well, I'm on town. A... Yes. Very glamorous. But it's not, is it? No. I, I think because really, probably the first. 
I mean, you don't want to count on us, but the, the first six or seven cruises that we did were all Caribbean. They were all Caribbean. We didn't go to Europe until uh, that. No, I did home with you, Mum. Yeah, but I didn't do it. No, and that's when I discovered. So, my experience of going to the ports were the Caribbean ports, of mm-hmm. which I don't ever recall pulling into a, no. a complete Caribbean port or like the primary phase, an industrial. That's the word. That's the word. It's, you'll sometimes cruise past areas that are in English on the way to the port. Yeah, on the matter stage. Yeah, but the ports themselves are a train wheel station, very glamorous and, yeah, club tropic and uh, Duran Duran style locations. What's a Duran Duran song that we're going to do? Jesus, it's real. <laughs> That's an entire in that. Moving up. Um, but you know that vision that you have when you see how they've been sold and not seen. Um, and that, that our first experiences when you then go suddenly to Northern Europe, yeah, turning the beds different. Yeah, you've got places like, um, Marseille, Marseille is all it's all it's quite a uh, it's retro. It's actually, it has it's, it's not that they're awful, they're just very industrial. They're not, they're not pretty. They're and then, um, I feel, we're, I feel we're ending on a down. We're not ending, we're all the good stuff yet. And um, when she knew you, um, one of the fans will have, oh, uh, yeah, again, we're only down there, we're down there. Oh, you get through the ports and you get into the towns, and they're often very nice. So, yeah, he's gone as well what you expect when, because those are not the posts that they're showing the brochures. No, they're not quite. They tend to be. They're not on the, on the yeah. website. They're, they're much fancy ones. Yeah. Anyway, is there anything else, given that you brought up the topic that you No, want to I think, I think, basically, you just need to be open to anything and enjoy the cruise experience. I think I said that you know, occasionally when you're on a cruise, things are not going to go out of your expect to look at all of that. But you still on the cruise. That's true. And there's always a bar that serves cocktails somewhere. Oh, yeah, really. And all that, no. Shall we do some new songs? Okay. Okay. Um, so, new story number one. Okay. It involves Holland America. Okay. All right. We killed up cruise on. Yes. Yeah, At the time of recording. Nine. Soon. And they've announced a special collaboration. With Lynn. Lynn, should I have got? Okay. Uh, we've got a member of our family, Lynn. Yeah, and no, I look like a Lynn today. <laughs> you do actually send a little like Lynn. And a lovely chocolate Lynn chuckle. A little Lynn dot. A little. I played that. A little And so to create crafted experiences of all of it. And now, according to the press release that I saw, they're going to do Dial Nights. Yeah. And on the gala nights, um, guests are going to be greeted by what they're classing as a sweet dreams turn down stuff. Well, I know, that's nice. It's maybe not necessarily what we love in that. But what will happen is you'll get either a Lindor, a Lindsay Lindor, a chocolate truffle, or a salted uh, sea salt milk chocolate truffle. On you go. That's cute. Oh. Oh. Uh, now, I myself, you could just go after. That, that's one thing. But they're also going to be doing Chocolate desserts, mm-hmm. uh, including a special tulip shaped one. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, which is a chocolate mousse cake using lint chocolate. Mm-hmm. And now, I'm not a massive chocolate fan, but I do like a lint, Lindor chocolate. Mm-hmm. And a Lindor mousse cake okay. sounds delicious. Okay. So that's coming across the fleet from August to Shred. Lovely. And they're and also doing a special lint Sunday as well. Okay. I uh, can apparently do a set of all the truly put me served on my Dutch day. Okay. So, we'll play that. Hi. My hair fish is kicking in. I'll have three punches in this. We'll just in depth news analysis and a look. Then I just. Okay. New story two. Mm-hmm. We can't have a new story group without there being something about Princess in that moment. Yeah. Um, I can wait half of our. Podcast of our feed to Princess Stories. I don't know. Thank you to Princess Day for keeping our stories. But they just announced a special VIP package. Oh. 
Ah, you went too early with you. I'm feeling now, but let's see. Okay. For the Love Boat Cruise, okay, which is on Enchanted Princess on the third first of August. Okay. So they're doing a themed cruise on there. Now, I've got two parts to this, which is what the VIP is. is. So it gives you front line access, a unique cocktail pattern with a cast. Cast. Yeah, cast of the Love Boat. The two. I would say virtual cast. Yeah. Well, those are really sort of silly, those. Well, I'm going to get The sailing them out. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Again, uh, I'm So those, those are the still with us. Yeah. They're on there. Uh, you also, as part of that VIP one, there's obviously very limited ones, so because you also get to have dinner with the cast. Nice. Which puts in all my structures. And another bit of something yes. just like that. Um, which, that in itself, I've been running to a theme cruise, having that VIP bit. The dog didn't set silly. But oh, what I'm curious about is whether they should still be buckling down the look on Princess. I'm mm-hmm. just on your thoughts on this. Pretty much 40 years after it finished. So, the other thing I'm from first in 1986. We, we do have friends who are not massive fans of the Love Boat, and if you were singing, you know who you are. I don't think you don't like the theme to be. No, I like the theme. I, I like it. I like the hell onto it. But you've got to bear in mind that the fast majority of, and when I say younger cruisers, you mean all the younger cruisers? Anyone in the sort of forties. And below. And below. I never been able to stay the world of the press. It doesn't mean anything to them. No, I guess not. Should they still be doing this? Yeah, okay. Would you be interested in going on a little boat thing? No. And you're in that older category of the gym. How dare you, How sir? How dare you? How dare you? I meant the, the 18th, 30th. I'm in the 30th. Oh, well, I'm kidding myself. I mean, I'm in my 30s. Yeah. Off his stuff. I, I upset people when they realise that I'm not in my house. <laughs> well, they'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in terms of do you, for anyone watching or listening to this, do you feel that that is something that Princess should do? Theme cruises are getting more and more popular. Yeah, okay, okay, all right. So I'll show you doing something different. All right. There's a second piece within Princess, and that's that they just announced a loyalty accelerator program. Okay. Um, but it's only running for a short period of time. Oh, so you have to book in order to sort of double up? No. What you've told? Sale. Oh, geez. So, guess sailing on cruise is the embark between the first of all, which is yeah, you're pre booked. Uh, no, you can be pre booked on it. Oh, okay, so no, that's fine by then. Uh, but you need to be sailing between first of August and December the 1st, 2024, so it's only a short window. Um, and you need to have taken Princess Plus or Princess Premier. Mm-hmm. You'll earn double cruise credit, accelerating your progress to the next tier. Okay, good luck with that. What do you think? Is that something that you'd like to see him extend beyond this? Because if you think about the far part of you, we can watch on Princess, I always step Princess Premier. So I don't sell it our stairs on that person, like, or Ruby at the time of recording. I don't like it when organisations um, introduce, I can't say it because I'm that annoyed, an offer that then is only for a friend. I love that opportunity. A small portion of their order, of their customers. I always find it's disingenuous. It's just to generate new stories. It's like, oh, we'll create, invent this thing, and then it's only a, for a very small group of people. I don't like it. Well, I mean, that for us, if that just took place on the 1st of June, the points that we got on this one would have got us up to platinum. Yeah, but it's like, oh, it, it's like, oh, we're not getting numbers that we need or we want for this. Oh, we'd be better off simply status matching. Just status match. Just status match. You do, do that. Do that. Thank you. I shouldn't do this after what I have to lose this shit. <laughs> so angry. I'm not angry. I just, just status match. All cruise lines, okay. just stay as Well, much. I've got, I'm, I'm with you on that. I feel that all cruise just lines do it. should stay as much. Do they? Because it encourages you to continue your time. Because the more you cruise with a single one, we, we've got friends who've only pretty much sailed on PR or only sailed on World Cup. 
And he missed that mm-hmm. whole spot, shouldn't it? But, like, but we get all our loyalty bonuses. Yeah, that's the thing. And yeah, there's a reason that they do them. At the supermarket, it's like Sainsbury's and Juice the Next Guy for the reason of getting you to go back there. We like a test club cup. A test club cup. Right, okay, okay, okay. But it's to keep me from my head. But say as much. Right. The final news story. There is no way you can get angry at the story. So, in trial, it's left to be a little rough. There's, it's a cost of fees here. Okay, and tell me. So, I went to three lines, and I'm not interested if you're just interested in being on this one. Because this one seems reliable. Mm-hmm. I went to cruise lines, I've got an ounce, and you might Okay. They're not a completely that to sell with. No. And it's an eight day mm-hmm. Hudson River summer classic. So, yeah, as in New York. Yeah, and so we've sent your fans together with the cruise at some point. Yes. We like New York. Yes. This one is a sailing round trip from New York. Mm-hmm. So it's called Summer Classic, so mm-hmm. I'm always sticking around in summer. But uh, it's called the Hudson River Valley. Mm-hmm. Goes up to the Castiel. Uh, Holy Kingston, Hyde Park, West Point. This is my cultural Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I'd like to go to Sleepy Hollow. But I saw that when the eggs were cut out a few days ago. Oh, wow. That sounds... That sounds really culturally enriching and yeah. quite historical, and I like that kind of... I think if I remember right, place. and I, I really may be remembering this one, but I think it also did an overnight in New York as part of that, but I may be wrong on that. But it were places that I fancied going on with. I don't know we'd seen them all there, but you never necessarily can attend mm-hmm. a holiday to that. Mm-hmm. You're going to get there. No, I like it. They may proceed. Do you approve of They may proceed. We've got Lindsay's permission to proceed with that okay. particular one. Well, that brings us up to the end of episode 10. Wow. I can't believe yeah, I know we didn't touch that. So I can't believe we've got to episode 10 already. Double C, yes. I know. I think so. Uh, but that's the, the end of this particular one. Well, cheers, darling. It's cheers, darling. Oh, I like that. Very cute. Thank, thank you for the last question. Our boss is very slightly. Have a lovely day.